for your health tonight, a potentially life-threatening pill mix-up has led to a nationwide recall of blood pressure medication. Accord Healthcare is recalling 12.5 milligram tablets of hydrochlorothide. This after a pharmacy found a different type of blood pressure medication called spironolactone in a 100-count bottle. Health experts say if you're supposed to be taking the other medicine, make sure that the pills are a light orange color with a letter H on one side and a number one on the other. Well, well over 600,000 Americans are being treated for kidney failure, and of that number, 468,000 are on dialysis. Well, thankfully, one form of dialysis has become simpler to use. In fact, patients can do it in their sleep. It's tonight's For Your Health. Kidney failure is a tough diagnosis. Those with high blood pressure and diabetes are at high risk. But thankfully, peritoneal dialysis has gotten easier. Peritoneal dialysis is a very gentle dialysis. Um, it helps patients to have less highs and lows than hemodialysis. This type of dialysis goes through the abdomen. A device called a Liberty Cycler does the filtering. It doesn't help your kidneys heal by any means, but it helps your body stay as healthy as possible when your kidneys don't work. Go ahead and put this under your arm. It's fairly easy. The patient does have to learn how it works. It goes through a tube in their stomach. It's implanted by a surgeon, and then we use that tube to put fluid inside their belly that removes toxins and waste products from their system and any extra electrolytes from their system. We drain that out down into a drain bag, and then we throw it away. Patients at any of the American Senior Community Facilities can get peritoneal dialysis. In fact, it can dovetail into their other rehab needs. While they're here, they would also be able to receive therapy services, emotional support, socialization, mental health needs, and nutrition. Presenius nurses are in charge. They teach the patient connections, nutrition, and most importantly, how to prevent infection. Hand washing is the most important thing. We teach them how to do hand washing. There's a lot more to hand washing than what they are normally trained to do. If all goes well, the dialysis happens at night and the patient sleeps right through most of the treatment. The other kind of dialysis called hemodialysis does require that a patient go to an off-site center. It is more extensive and not conducive for home use. New smart